there is a little something that I do want to speak about, and that is that I have a complete undying, unget ridable desire of wanting to do and be more in a weird sense of the imagination. It's it's quite hard to describe, but right now I don't feel as fulfilled as I could be. And that sounds weird because what 17 year old gives a shit about fulfillment and what kind of how much fulfillment they feel from the things and the activities that they do inside of their life and that's because i don't think that i'm having as big of an impact as i possibly could be on society and i just want to do more and i suppose have more of a reward for it right now i have this youtube channel and don't get me wrong i'm very proud of myself for having this youtube channel and i'm very proud of the achievements that i've done on this youtube channel if you think about everyone that's ever watched my videos, there's probably a hundred thousand people that have ever watched my videos like on different accounts and different people and stuff like that. And there's probably someone out there that I have saved their life through the things that I've talked about. There's probably someone out there that I may have saved them from suicide, through mental health advice that I've given through gratitude and spending time in nature, bettering your mental health, meditation and stuff like that. There could be someone else out there where I've stopped them from having heart disease by talking about a better diet stopping eating fast food and all that sort of stuff there could be someone out there who i've saved their child's life i stopped them having a miscarriage because i talked about bpa in one video that they accidentally came across and they stopped sort of like consuming plastics as much as they were before and that actually made sure that their baby was able to develop and grow properly inside of the womb and that meant they didn't have a miscarriage because miscarriages are on the rise in basically most countries in the world and it can be uh, quite a lot of it can be contributed to unhealthy lifestyles and plastics and this kind of polluting stuff that while you may think seems quite chemically inert the stuff that makes a lot of plastic soft particularly soft plastics hard plastics are okay but soft plastics that contain plasticizers are pretty bad for you and can have quite a big impact on your reproductive systems and make you infertile if i've stopped someone from being infertile because of the irreversible damage that this these kind of stuff cause and i've stopped them from exposing themselves to that that much and they go on to have kids then i'm saving lives there and if one of those many different possibilities has happened i am happy with the time i spent doing this because there were people out there that have aspirations at my age to be doctors and lawyers and help people and save lives and as much as that is so commendable and so respectable and i have absolutely zero issue with that not many people can say at the ripe old age of 17 that they are out there trying to save lives and potentially have saved a life even if it's just one that's all that matters to me but now that i'm growing into being an actual adult that is actually going to have to have a career and something to bring in income to support their family and they're going to actually have to provide something to society to actually have something get been given back to them I have to do more and be more and I have this undying passion and desire to want to do that and it's just weirdly feels like it's not being fulfilled and that has partly to do with the way the school system works as well. I feel like the school system just distracts me from doing everything that I want to do and as much as the science stuff that I learn about in school is really useful, it's like some stuff that I have to do because of school, it's like it's obligatory but I don't actually care about it and it just takes up time and the things that would happen if I didn't do it do not outweigh the time that uh, I have to spend and the stress that I have to spend actually doing that thing so it's a little bit annoying but I, I know I can overcome that sort of stuff but life is getting a little bit busy and it's getting a little bit stressful sometimes being 17 you're starting to learn to drive I'm trying to learn to drive I'm trying to book all these tests so I can pass my exams and get my license and that's like probably a bit harder than what many people think it is especially when you are as busy as i do not many, not many people can say i suppose that they're trying to pass their test do all this school stuff while having a youtube channel and i'm definitely gonna have to decrease the upload frequency even still on this youtube channel now i'm uploading like four times a week or something because yeah it is a little bit hard i'm probably not gonna be producing as many sciencey videos anymore and go back to just completely non-edited stuff because the editing is what takes up so much time and i'm just not finding it as an as enjoyable as i used to i like i sit down to edit and i'm like why do i have to do this there is stuff that i actually want to do instead of this editing but like i felt like i have to do it because of some kind of again the undying desire but i felt like that undying desire and passion could so much be way better used on something else i do want to kind of slow down the youtube side of things so i can 
for the next month, two months, focus on getting every kind of little, these little annoying things done. Like when it comes to the obligatory stuff that I have to do for school, all the little things that I have to do, sort out things to do with driving and stuff like that, make sure that that's going to be done as soon as possible, hopefully by the summer. And then I can start to think about maybe uploading a little bit more frequently. I also want to start about thinking about actually starting other part-time businesses, physical things where I don't just provide content, but actually sell physical products or digital products even. I want to kind of get into that market more instead of just producing videos. Because as much as that's useful, and as much as I've got a thousand subscribers now, which is cool, that's like one part of the monetization done. It's like, yeah, I'm probably helping people and impacting their lives, but I am spending a lot of time doing this and I'm not getting a hell of a lot of reward other than some sense of happiness and desire and passion and fulfillment. But that's just not enough to keep me going. And I've been feeling for a while now that I just want to do something else and try something else. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, trying something else. Maybe YouTube just genuinely isn't a thing for me. I kind of tried this, not expecting it to fully work out and it kind of did. And I kind of ended up doing it for a year. It's been a year pretty much since I started this YouTube channel. That's absolutely fucking crazy. I never really expected to actually reach 1000 subscribers. In my head, I was like, oh, imagine if I just like blow up immediately and all this sort of stuff. But realistically, that was never gonna happen. And there have been times where I was worried that, yeah, I'm just going to end up being like the guy that's on 200 subscribers and nothing's ever going to happen. But I actually got to 1K sub. That's absolutely insane. And I'm very proud of the, the work that I've put in for that. But I'm definitely toning it down slightly. And I want to find other things that I can do so that I can actually fulfill this this desire more. I can get rid of this this like thing that's sort of burying a hole in my in my gut and sort of causing this like gut pain. That I just want to get stuff done. And yeah, I feel like that's the cause of most of my stress. I want to be a little bit healthier as well. I want to start tracking macros and doing a bit more stuff in the gym, doing a bit more fitness stuff. Because a lot of the time I get home from school, I edit, I do my habits, I go to bed, no time for working out. Some days I do do that. And that's normally when I'm editing shorter videos or something like that. But even still, it's like I want to work out a bit more because it does bring me a lot of happiness, especially during summer. During winter, working out is a little bit weird sometimes, but during summer when i'm working out in a t-shirt or i'm working out shirtless it just gives me with like oh my god this is just so cool this is just so fun and even if i'm not making the most optimal gains it's like it's a really fun thing to do in a weird sense of the imagination it's like it's like a, basically just a replacement for video games but it's actually healthy instead of video games which just waste time and overstimulates your brain and neurotransmitters and stuff like that but yeah i really do have this undying desire to be more it's so hard to describe but support i suppose could be appreciated if anyone wants to comment if this video actually gets enough views to do that but we'll have to see i just thought i'd come out into the woods especially to record this video because i love spending time in nature and that fulfills me a lot but yeah this undying desire and passion to impact the world in a greater sense that's the reason i started doing these science-based videos which talk about stuff in society that affects our health that people don't understand because it's so scientific and they can't be bothered to learn about it i thought i'd try to simplify that make that a little bit easier but i don't think i succeeded on that as well as i possibly could have and i want to actually just focus on my total health first cleanse myself of all the stupid shit in society and then actually talk about that someone like brian johnson for instance who's like 40 reversing his aging and doing loads and loads of cool stuff. I want to kind of wait till I'm that age before I can start talking about that side of things. And in the in the meantime, I can do things and impact the world in a different sense of the imagination that is also still quite important to me. But yeah, I want to fulfill this undying desire basically just by trying something different to YouTube, essentially. That's basically the only way I can describe it, but I'm going to take a break from any kind of desire fulfilling by getting rid of any unnecessary stresses from my life. And if you were in a similar situation, I recommend you do the exact same thing. But with that, I recommend subscribing for more content like this and have a good day.